Yo, what is up with GameStop? GME stock. Let's take a look at the charts today. Give you guys some quick price predictions and my own thoughts. And then I'll share with you a potential catalyst, some major news that could happen tomorrow. So if you're watching this video in the future, it maybe already happened, maybe didn't. But this is just something I figured that I thought was interesting that I figured I'd share with you guys. And just remember this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. Be sure to do your research before making any investments, but let's take a look at GameStop right now. What is going on? So Monday, the market opened, and I'm going to be honest, it's quite slow. Nothing crazy happened. Seems like most stocks are just chilling in place. And I mean, yeah, you got a few that are going crazy, but for the most part, it seems like GameStop didn't really do much either. So right now, it looks like we're trading sideways for a bit. And we're right now, we're above the 50 EMA, so at least we're in a, I'd say, upwards position. So it looks like right now when I'm filming this, we're at $183.50. So not too shabby, but let's just see what's going on. So you can see here right now, we did reach the highs of 350 plus pretty much. But recently, if you guys saw the sell off and basically we went under the 50 MA. So we did below the 50 MA for quite a bit. And when I saw this dip, one, I thought that it was over GameStop is going back down and pretty much was going to break 100 plus. But what ended up happening is people decided to buy back in. And it looks like we hit the low round. It looks like 114, 115. And then pretty much next thing you know, it reversed completely. And then GameStop was like, psych. We're not letting you guys um, dip even lower. So if we were to look at this price point right now. From that dip, that gain upwards of the high, that was like 80 plus percent, which I made update videos beforehand. So quite a crazy increase in terms of um, in just a short time period from that major dip. Now I know the other stocks and most of the market was red for quite a bit too, but in terms of GameStop, GameStop's percent gain was I'd say quite insane for that short period. And then just looking at the recent weeks, I mean, you can see the dip from at least the top, we're looking at almost basically like a 200% drop. So, I mean, whenever you see major drops in stocks, most likely it's either there's bad news or something happened and people are selling off like crazy and if the company's not legit, then it's probably gonna continue to drop. But GameStop, from I'm seeing, there's so much community support. There's a lot more potential, especially earnings. And then also the Chewy co-founders trying to reverse this, turn into an e-commerce giant. And there's a lot of big news in terms of like support and just, you know, contacting customers. Like Lily Cohen himself replying to customers and trying to, you know, build up that rapport and trust with GameStop again. So at least right now, just looking at the short term, Looks like we're just consolidating sideways for a bit. So unless some major news happen, I wouldn't be surprised to see the price just hover around this area and maybe maintain its a position above the 50 MA or maybe even dip below. But let's just say something general bad happens to the market where people start to sell off and the next thing you know, all the stocks are dropping, right? At that point, I mean, we could see um, GameStop dip below the 50 MA. Next thing you know, we're downtrending. And in terms of the support level, there's really not much support in this area. I'd say the next level support would be again, this like one... 115 117 price point because that was the most recent dip we had beforehand so most likely if this were to dip we would test this area again and then also you can see that we have the candlesticks around here so in terms of the solid support you can see that it looks like this is our i'd say worst case in the short term that we could dip below assuming you know the market is doing well now if there's a huge crash or whatnot then yeah we could break support here and you know continue to drop but that's just saying worst case and if that was the thing, let's just look at this potential drop in price. You know, it's like a 35 plus percent drop, right? Now, let's look at the bullish trend. Let's just say, assume this upcoming thing that I'm about to show you guys actually ends up being bigger than what we're expecting, or maybe something else happens in the next few weeks that is just insane news, and next thing you know it, everybody's talking about GameStop. Well, then we could see this break above this trend line right here, and then next thing you know, we'd have to test this price point. I'd say... Looks like if you want to measure it at the top of the candlestick here, if we can break out this 2, 218 price, which was the recent high that we tried to test and we couldn't break out of that. So if we were to dip below back again, break back out, we would test this. Next thing you know, we break out again. And then from there, we'd have to see what happens. Because most likely we could see that hit that price point and then might drop back below and then break out back again. Or we could see there's a massive surge in price just like we saw back here we're just massive spike. So again, GameStop's one of those stocks where it's such a big community, there's so much stuff going on behind them that if you were to say, oh, this is gonna trend upwards forever with you know no crazy spikes of volatility, then I'd say that's hard to predict because GameStop is super volatile. I mean, we see the spikes back since February, straight up, consolidates for a bit, boom, again, mass sell off, consolidate, dip, 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 next thing you always know, surge up again, 80 plus, almost 90%. 
and now we're chilling over here. So we could see another surge again. And if you were to see another surge, and let's say for some reason GameStop goes back up to the pretty much the high point, there's another almost 90% gain within this price point here. And also we're still factoring in the potential short squeeze, the shorts, the hedge funds, there's still that factor too. So in terms of looking like a trend and what it could possibly do, and the next thing you know, if you see a short squeeze, then who knows what the price could be. It could skyrocket well past this price point. And then after that, we'll have to make, you know, an update on that. But so just in general, short term, seems like there's really not much happening after, you know, the earnings report and everything. So once the earnings report, the news, people bought back in. So right now we're just hovering sideways for a bit. So again, worst case, we could see the support level, assume the market crashes. But best case, I'd say there's upside, the potential, there's much more room for growth. And you can see here the RSI back when it hit the 218 plus candlestick. At this high point, it was clearly towards the overbought area. So now people decided to sell off and take some profits. So yeah, we're still hovering sideways in the middle. There's still not a clear indicator of um, GameStop could trend downwards or upwards right, at least today. Maybe after the end of this week, we'll have a better indication. So this is just my quick overview on that. But let's just, let me show you this update right here. This is what I think is more interesting because the price again, GameStop, we can check that later. But this is someone on Reddit, they posted this. And feel free to you know type this in or you can search them up and look into this. But Again, this is all speculation. This is not, you know, any sort of like, I'd say major news update or anything. This is literally just people speculating on something that could potentially happen. And if they are correct, then that's a big deal. Now, if they're wrong, you know, what they do, nothing really happens. But here they state like back in 2020. So this is historically, they announced with GameStop, the Microsoft deal. So this is back before people even understood, you know, GameStop and like all the craziness. But they state here that this third bridge interview this was on the 21st of October in 2020. And they state that basically this is when they announced this deal with Microsoft. Now here is a picture and you can see here, basically you can see their bridge, Microsoft partnership and upcoming new console cycle. Then you can see 10, 21, 20. And then here hosting the interview, GameStop, Microsoft partnership, etc. ticker symbols over here. And this was, this was again last year. Now they put another thing that could potentially happen. So this is technically going to be tomorrow. You're probably watching this today. Maybe you're watching this on uh, the 30th or even after. But you'll find out if after um, technically today, you already know if this even went down or not. But he's stating, or she, I'm not sure exactly who this is, but uh, they're stating that they have another interview, which I'll put a link right here. This is the um, the image here. So you can see Third Bridge, e-commerce transformation and structural biz overview. 3.30. So again, that hasn't even occurred yet when I'm recording this. And they just basically say hosting GameStop. Um, T oh, so it looks like e-commerce is cut off. E-commerce transformation, instructional business overview. They have some tickers over here. You can see like, yo, know, it looks like um, the e-commerce retail stores, Walmart, Amazon, Target, Best Buy, etc. And then this is just like regular info here. So what they're stating is this could be a potential announcement of something big happening, which they stole. They use the historical data from last time. With the Microsoft announcements, and again, this is all speculation. Now, I, I would like this to be a big announcement because obviously earnings weren't you know as amazing as people wanted them to be. You don't you don't want to stack you know amazing news on top of your earnings because unless you know something crazy happens, it just doesn't make sense to stack all this good news on top of that. But at least right now, if this were to happen, let's say some crazy update partnership, something regarding maybe maybe these companies over here, maybe not. Who knows? These could be competitors or this could be something to do with them in terms of like working together. We don't know yet until technically tomorrow. Or nothing, literally nothing could happen. This could just straight up be an interview update on just like their future and what they try to do, which I think is probably the more realistic thing. But this is something I just thought was interesting to maybe even look into, consider, and feel free to, uh, you know, deep dive into this and let me know anything that you find or many updates maybe that I'm just not seeing. But I figured I'd just share with this to you because it's something I thought was really interesting. And pretty much in short, they're interviewing tomorrow, discussing the future with the uh, company. And last time they interviewed with this company, you have the deal with Microsoft announced. So maybe something happens crazy because they also include like Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Tickers as part of the announcement. So are those related to it? We don't know yet till technically tomorrow, but I figured that was something cool to share with you. Maybe something food for thought. So in terms of short price, again, I think it's just going to chill for a bit on the sideways. Unless some major news happens, we could see the price spike up. 218. So again, that could be, let's see, what is that percent gain from right now? You know, 20 plus percent. Now, do I think it's going to hit, you know, crazy 90, 80, 100 percent plus gains in the short term? Maybe. Guys, this is GameStop. Again, short squeeze could happen anytime. 
and also major updates could happen too. This is the stock markets. Anything technically could happen, but realistically, if there's nothing major going on or you know, no no major updates, I, le I could see this consolidating for a bit, maybe dip below the 3MA and just hover around this area, just indicating that there's not really much going on. It's sort of undecided. And then potentially once that happens, we'll have more data on whether it's gonna be trending upwards or downwards. But aside from that, if you made it this far in the video and you wanna get two free stocks valued up to 1,850 bucks, then be sure to click the first link in the description below. Sign up for an account, and as long as you deposit $100 minimum or more, you'll be able to receive two free stocks valued up to potentially $1,850. And aside from that, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.